boom what up youtube lth coming at you with a video 713 bio city way up in here so got some news that i want to catch up on including the Nico archery i'm gonna start off with that one and yeah i understand that you know some afc south news you know r and key was in and the Nico archery was suspended for peds and my thoughts on that is I'll admit that that wasn't a smart move, smart decision by Danico to be using PEDs because PEDs can really mess up players from head to toe. I mean, example, look at Taylor Lewan. You know, since he stopped taking them PEDs, he's, you know, his production slowed down. So, yeah, you know, can't be doing that and expect to not face consequences. And that's what happened with the Nico Autry. It's gonna be out for the next six games of 20, 2024. You know, the first four games, I mean. So hopefully this could be a, a learning lesson for, for him, you know? And maybe this sort of motivate him, which I'm confident that it will. So. Yeah, stop put my quick two cents in. And then the Texans added the running back in Cam Akers from the Vikings. You know, you know they're coming off a season and an injury in the Achilles. Though, dude's pretty solid, you know. Just made our running back room a little bit more legit. legit. You know? Factor in Damian Pierce and Joe Mixon. And their running back that they drafted from Louisville, our running back room was looking pretty good, you know, to say the least. So I can't be mad at the pickup, you know. Solid pickup, you know. He could pretty much, you know, if it, that's if he makes the roster, he can help up with the running game, the Texans' running game for sure. So knowing that the running game wasn't effective in 2023 last year and i understand you know old line injuries can can be a part of it but not using that as an excuse to why the running game last year was you know non-existent i mean yeah it had showed its share of flashes when devin singletary took over at rb1 over damian pierce you know who didn't have a good second year you know, but, you know, but did see some flashes in that running game at time to time. So now that, but the running back has improved, I see, you know, because getting the running back was, was key anyway, you know, to take the pressure off CJ Stroud. So running, you know, running back rooms looking, looking good. You know, just got to stay healthy. Because, yeah, injuries are a part of the game, but if we can stay mostly healthy in that running game, we can do some good things in 2024. So, another, so I just want to put my two cents in on that Cam Makers signing. Last but not least, the Hall of Fame game. And, yeah, the starters are expected to sit, so... It's gonna be second and third stringers or even fourth stringers in that game. You know, to see how they go. You know, cause preseason is basically on who makes the 50, which second or third stringers makes the 53 man roster for sure. So it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be fun seeing who makes the team. It's gonna be some gonna be some surprise cuts and who's gonna surprisingly make the team the 53 man roster you know because they the texans do play football again today tonight and yeah preseason don't mean a lot but except maybe rust fighting for roster spots but at the same time i'm thankful that i get to watch texans football again because the last time i watched texans football they got pimp slapped by the Ravens in the AFC divisional game. You know, Lamar Jack by Lamar Jackson once again. 
you know, just saying. But, yeah, football is back. Best time of the year. And, of course, I got to catch some games this season. About a game or two. Hell, I'll be good. <laughs> you know, the game I'm looking forward to the most is that Battle Red game against the Detroit Lions. You know, I'm just saying. So, and yeah, I get it. The ticket price is going to be sky high as hell. Yeah, them ticket prices are going to be pretty high. You know, guess what happens when things are looking up north for the Texans? As far as expectations goes, which they didn't have in 23, and which they succeeded. But, yeah, they didn't make it to an AFC title game, in which I would have liked. But, hey, the way this roster is set up, hey, 2024 is no excuse for them Texans. And I know, I understand the Titans got better with their roster. You know, they bettered their roster. And the Jaguars, they still looking good too, you know. You know, still got a good roster as well. And the AFC South gonna be a be a juggernaut. And they could have like, hell, everyone in the division in the playoffs this year. You know, depending on how bad the AFC is looking. And, <laughs> hell, the whole AFC going to be a juggernaut. But, though, even if, and even with me saying that, it just boils down to who can slow down Pat Mahomes' shot at 3 Pete. And, yeah, it's the Hall of Fame game tonight. And, hey, looking forward to enjoying some Texans football. Even, even if I got to work tonight, hey. I can still watch it thanks to my, you know, NFL subscription I got. So, really come in handy for sure. But that's all I want to put in, you know, for this Hall of Fame game. You know, not excited, for, for, you know. But I'm just excited to watch the Texans play football again. And, yeah, second and third string is going to be playing. So, the rookies are going to – I want to – get the watch for sure and of course davis mills and the rookies that we drafted on offense and defense so let's see what happens but but to my next video lch checking on the body here let's go texans i'm out peace houston till i die